Inside this computer lab, Boeing engineers have been putting airplane windows through all kinds of electrical and digital tests. We simulate airplane behavior. For example, we perform power interrupts. We're doing testing for failure. So anything that can go wrong, that's what we're working on. The thorough testing is needed because the window system, designed for the new 787 Dreamliner, is unlike any that have been used on commercial jets. Sure, from the outside, the windows look pretty traditional. But from the inside, there is a big difference. The windows are 65% larger than the industry standard. And there's no window shade to lift up or pull down because you don't need one. These windows are different in that we have a gel that's sandwiched between two very thin pieces of glass. And what happens is when we apply a voltage and a current to the gel inside the windows, they start a process of darkening. And you can see that happening right here. And what happens is the gel is activated and it goes through a chemical reaction to go completely dark. Boeing teamed up with PPG Aerospace and Gentex to create the system. All passengers have to do is press a button to lighten or darken their window as they please, from clear to black to somewhere in between. So they'll be able to have more control in what they're actually seeing outside the window and how their comfort level, so it's going to be tailored to that. All the windows are connected to a network so the flight crew can manage the whole system from this one control panel. So right here, uh, the current database device, Systems uh, engineer Diana Bonilla showed the many options that will be available to a flight attendant, like commanding all the windows on board, or just certain zones, or even individual windows. So we select uh, window number one and number two, and we're going to darken them. Diana sends the command, and within 30 seconds, the two windows go dark. This is essentially what you have in between windows. Much of the work the last few years has been testing the wiring and the software to make sure commands flow through to the controller and then onto the windows. It's first class left, first class right, and then... Uh, Recently, engineers have focused on automating the windows based on the airplane's altitude by incorporating flight data from the navigation system. For instance, if you're landing or any time you're below 10,000 feet, you want the window, you want the window clear. And so if we can automate some of these by just sensing the aircraft's altitude, um, it makes it that much easier on the attendant, one less step. One less step and one more innovative feature of the 787 Dreamliner.